I'm delighted to say we're joined by uh, Darvel player Craig Truesdale. Uh, Craig, has it sunk in yet? What was it like last night, eventually realising that you'd knocked Aberdeen out of the cup? Uh, I think now um, it's starting to sink in. I think at the time it's a bit surreal when um, everybody's down there and celebrating. You don't really get the chance to understand what's just happened. But uh, no, I haven't watched the game right now. I think it's starting to sink in. I've got to ask you, did you did you believe that, that it was on? Did the manager's speech beforehand somehow give you that that extra incentive or did you really believe it was on because of what had uh, followed from Aberdeen? I think talking to the manager even before last night, before he gave his speech, I think it's easy for teams like us to say they're coming to the game, but they don't really believe it. I think going into the game last night, we genuinely did believe we could win. Yeah, I mean, that in, in itself says a lot about the character of the players. And of course, you know, no need to say, I mean, everybody knows that there's a, there are a number of players, including yourself, who've all had that little taste of uh, professional football. Some have played at a really high level. I mean, Ian McShane's got a, a League Cup winner's medal with Ross County. Um, what about the, your teammates as well? Was there, a, was there a feeling when you were looking around that dressing room and seeing... Uh, you know, Jordan Kirkpatrick, the likes of Ian McShane there, yep, you know, we've got enough quality to do this. Aye, definitely. Uh, I think it's difficult to pull off an upset like that, but I think when you've got guys in the ranks that have done it before, played in games like that before, it definitely helps people like myself, probably one of the younger members of the squad in the game, you know, you're looking around and you know they've got that experience to help you through it. Uh, of course, the the big question is Richard Foster mentioned to us beforehand that he he could sense in the first five ten minutes that this was on. Uh, there was definitely a giant killing in the offing. Did you sense panic in Aberdeen? You know, when the goal went in first of all, or in their overall play? Um, <laughs> yeah, the right way I started unbelievably. Um, I think you could tell playing in the game. Aberdeen have got good players uh, but like you say when we score first the longer it goes they're running out of ideas and of course you've got to get a bit of luck and run the night before it yeah what about your keeper by the way you did say you've got to you've got to ride your luck a little over the, the 90 minutes but the big man was he was pulling off I mean point blank saves did at that point you must have thought hey this is going to happen <laughs> Aye, definitely. Um, I think last night Chrissy took the plaudits for some of his saves, but I think when you see the way we try to play him, we're building from the back. Chris is pivotal with that because he's fighting the ball to speak. And Craig, this is something I've never said to anybody uh, involved with Darville, but incredibly, the two of you aren't related, aren't you? Know? Um, I think there is a relation somehow. But it's, it's not close. I think it's a, a cousin's cousin or something. Darvel. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> <laughs> and do you think, uh, you think you're ever due the bonus money or allow you to put the kitchen lights back on? <laughs> <laughs> no, my house, mate. I love that house, so cost of living, they keep the lights off for them. Yeah, absolutely. Listen, just before you go, uh, Craig, you've got Falkirk in the next round. I, I suppose the element of surprise is now gone. Nah, I suppose so. Um, now we'll look forward to it, same as we look forward to that tie there and take it as it comes. Yeah, listen, um, what, one last little quick point. What was it like? I mean, the manager did mention that he would allow you that that moment to celebrate it. What, what was it like in the dressing room and the and the celebrations afterwards? Ah, incredible. Uh, the team was brilliant. Um, it's, a, it's a great group that we've got down there. And that's probably part of the reason that we've been so successful so far this season. Uh, absolutely fantastic. Uncensored, unbiased, unmatched. The Football Show on PLZ Soccer's YouTube channel.